Hi, this is the software part of the Sega Saturn Optical Drive emulation. Adding the ISOs and everything that you need to have. So basically what you're going to need is a few files to get this going. So what you're going to need, let me minimize that. I have a G drive that has these files right here and I will send a link if you need it but anyway you need this juggler and you need a Windows PC that is Windows 7 and under then because when cause if you try to run it on Windows 10 it's not gonna run so Windows 7 and under for this juggler then you're gonna need this file here GDMUSD then you're going to need this file here, our menu. The GD, MUSD, you need to extract that to your desktop. In a file folder, or you can put it on your desktop, whatever way you want to do it. Extracting, but extract it. And just leave it. We're not going to touch it or nothing because you need your ISOs, unless you got ISOs already. If you have ISOs already, or if you need to download ISOs, if you need to download ISOs, Google is your friend. Just type in Sega Saturn ISOs or something. Bring you to the archive org. Use that internet archive org, whatever not. Get your ISO if you need that. Bam. Now you got your game set up. Now, since you, if you already got game images, the ISOs, like I'm saying. So basically what I mean by ISOs, I mean, you go here to download and you get the game images like bubble bubble they come in three formats right here three files I don't say three formats but three files come in bin Q files that's why I got mostly bin Q's now if you got a bunch of bin Q files I'm gonna let you know this now it's time that you're gonna have to convert those to a CDI image which you need this juggler for so what you're gonna end up doing is getting Demon Tools Lite installed on your computer and once you get Demon Tools Lite which is this Thunderbolt icon right here it's a virtual drive unit for your computer so basically it will emulate you putting a CD-ROM drive or a DVD drive, uh, ROM you know disc into your computer it emulates that that's what it is so once it emulates that and then and it's, once you install that and restart your computer, do all that stuff, and you find your disk images from your games, like Bubble Bobble, you will click on the Q file, double click on it, and when you double click on the Q file, it's going to say mounting image. Then this should pop up right here. Right here is the uh, music menu, whatever. It plays the game music and all that. But right now, Bubble Bobble is inserted into the computer like it's an actual drive in there, but it's not. So, once that happens, and you get this juggler installed on your PC, make sure it's installed, and as you can see, this makes a difference. Now, click this up, keep this going up right here, then double click on this juggler. Waiting for it to load. Oh, I got one going. Mm. Alright. I got one going. As you can see, when this juggler is up, what you're going to end up doing is going right here to file. Go new. Go to new. It's going to ask you, say create this images. Do not do copy this on fly or copy this from the same burner or none of that just go to the create disk images hit ok when you hit ok on create disk images it's going to bring this up right here as you see this is my default cd round drive the one that is me mechanically built on the computer as you can see I press the button and this is my laptop bam that's the actual drive to go to this one so yeah that's what that one is so, I will click on the arrow, go down here where it says DT soft BD ROM, 
It's my F drive. Bam. Bubble, bobble. That was the Sega Saturn game right there. Now over here, it makes a difference what you put your CDI images at. So what you would do, you would click on this. We would erase this. And then I will put the letter E. Colon. And a forward slash. And then, I would click over here. Go back to downloads, where I got my game at. Click on the file name. Hit copy. Go back to disk juggler. Where it says just the colon the E is at. I would just paste it. Now we got USA. It say USA, Europe, Japan, the other regions. I just usually erase those because it don't matter. So it does matter, but when you read the game names, you don't really don't care what region it comes from because you already know what you're putting on here. So after that happens, then you hit start. That's right here. Once you get all that edited in, hit start. Once you hit start, as you can see, it is starting. It's doing its thing. It's writing to my SD card. Now it wrote to my SD card. Now I'm finna go to that that window that I left up. So I go here. I go to my removable drive E. And when I go to removable drive E, as you can see, there is my game. Bubble Bobble. I was featuring Rainbow Islands. It is a CDI image. It's not a Ben Q no more. It's not multiple CD images. Because then once that happens, once you get that image, then you open up GD ROM, click on EXE, GDMUC, SD, click on that. Now you get all this right here. All this right here. All I did was hit the refresh button. This is my drive with all my games on it. I'm not about to redo that. I ain't about to redo this or none of this. So, what you're going to end up doing is taking your CD image that you get from out of, from out of drive E, right here. And what you're going to do is take this and drag and drop it over here into this program there. Drag and drop. That's all you got to do. Let me pull it back. So take that, drag and drop it right over here. It's going to say wait, process, and all that stuff. Just wait and let it do what it does. Don't be impatient. Let it do what it does. When it finished, then your game be up there. So, once that happens, and you get all your games on there, you don't have to do one by one. If I was you, and y'all was doing a bunch of Sega Saturn games converting, I'd convert all my games first. And once I convert all my games to the CDI images, then that's when I would hit Control A, take all your images and drop them, drop them straight into this GD MU menu, and just let the computer sit there, go off, do something else for a while, then come back to the computer and then finish the process. And then once that finish, make sure you don't tick none of these you don't want none of these ticked you don't want to hit you don't want that you don't want region leave that alone and the only thing you click is menu that's the only one should be ticked is menu I think if, yeah I think menu should be ticked and then you hit save and when you hit save, it's going to save your list of all your games. And once that happens, you X this out. Make sure that you make an EX. Um, go to a note here. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Right click in this menu. Go to new. And you can go to notepad or text document. That's what I did. Text document. And when you get to the text document, there is a file link that I sent in that one file folder. 
it's going to send you to that one website where they have the actual tutorial to do this but since I'm making a video tutorial it's a lot easier to follow the video or it's a lot easier for you to read the text and follow the pictures on that website but once you do that the website is going to tell you to make a notepad configuration you know folder here and file here so what you're going to end up doing is copying all the text that was on that website and put it into here and make a ex what's that make a i a ini file for your board so it can read it right so you just have to name the file once you save it after your board name so if it's a phobie you name it phobie if it's not phobie it'd be a ria that's what you would name it once you save it then you x this out and you open up no you won't x that out you keep this open and then you will x this out my side say no no okay then you will extract this file here now this file here if I open it it's going to tell me expired so when you open it it's going to have file folder number one and file folder number one is your first game that's right there because they GD MU is what's going to transfer all those game names that you had before them big long file game names that you dropped and dragged in that one program it's going to transfer those file folders names into numbers and when it transferred into numbers this is what you get 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04 and so forth down on how many games that you get so the first file folder on the R menu you got to extract that folder to the first folder make sure it's the same folder all the content and then that first game that was in that first folder if I was you guys I will move it and make a new folder for that game and put whatever number supposed to be sequenced after you know the last number once that happens then you double click on this and when you double click on this it's gonna bring you up to a menu and when you click on this particular menu when you click on this it's gonna bring you up to this little menu C prompt let me double click show you it's a our menu generator list now it's gonna come up like this all these games I mean all these games and stuff these were your actual games that you had added into the GD ROM unit thing and these are your games that it will be on here now you are gonna run across some on this list it's gonna say not a Sega Saturn CD if it says not a Sega Saturn CD you will hit the Y button to edit the title and once you add the title it will come up like this hit Y hit enter and when you do that it should bring up a notepad screen with your games listed in number order bam just like that it's gonna bring this up and when it brings this up this is where you get to add the, the game names to make sure that it actually reads the actual ISO because if you leave it saying not a Sega Saturn disc or not a Saturn disc it ain't, it's not going to read or if it says something else that the game not supposed to be it's not going to read so make sure that you get everything make sure you add this menu pretty well so I went through this numerous of times make sure everything was perfect and when I did that, I made sure everything was perfect. Then that's when I just went ahead and saved the file. That's it. Just save it. Don't go to save as. Go to save. And exit out. It's going to make this. Once you hit the X button. After it saved it. It's going to make this ISO. And when it make this ISO. That's when you are finished. With the process and then go ahead pop it in your Sega Saturn and see what happens if everything went smoothly it should then you should be good if not then you have to go back and read it some games 
through that R menu right here you have to double click on that and re-edit your game titles once you re-edit the game titles make sure this is perfect make sure you always constantly save do not do a save as always go to file and save after that exit out of that put your second side and it should just work just right make sure that you get an action replay cartridge plugged in the back of your second side depending on which regions and which region games that you're trying to play other than that this is my tutorial on how to do this software wise and this is Christ C Nuts signing out goodbye